Welcome back to the Mount Pleasant Dynasty. Today we have week five of the college football season. It is Mount Pleasant on the road once again as they'll be taking on the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. A look at the matchup here today as Warhawks have not been the most offensive team in the world and have really struggled to stop other teams, only forcing four punts through the first three games of the season. That's something that has to change. We're going to be competitive today. On the first play, it is a quick screen to the outside for Allen Harrison, who is eighth nationally in receptions. Now it's Elton Huff up the middle. He's got seven yards, as that's a quick first down. Under center, it's a twin tight end set. It's Jonathan Gibbs who will throw it, and it is Dorian Mays in the flat for five yards. Now third down and five, an empty set with Ricky Barrett, and he gets the catch and is brought down inside of Warhawk territory, a 15-yard gain. Second down and five up the middle, it's Elton Huff and a shoestring tackle. It's an eight-yard gain nonetheless. Now it's Danny Whitmore, the backup running back. He goes straight up the middle. He's got a lot of room to run. He's got 14 yards. After a false start, it's first down and 15. Jonathan Gibbs drops back, dumps it down across the middle for Gerard Buchanan. As he is getting his first career start today, I didn't really like what I saw out of Kenton Watkins through the first couple of games. So he is getting his first start along with Damian Ransom getting a lot more playing time. There's Ricky Barrett on a catch. Now we go with a tight set to the corner of the end zone. And Gerard Buchanan, a seven-yard touchdown and a four-minute drive. We'll get a second look at this catch. Drug his toe and barely got a foot in. And then it's now a 7-0 lead. Now a studio update as one of our future opponents stays undefeated in a closely contested game against Louisiana Lafayette. First down and 10 for Will Collins. The backup quarterback replacing their starting quarterback who is injured. Now they bring a man in motion going play action. Collins drops back. Now he's going to scramble to his right. He's got it into Mount Pleasant territory. A gain of 10 yards. They're going to go with a much more up-tempo look than the Mount Pleasant offense will. As here's a 6-yard gain and a first down. I formation. Give up the middle to Maps. And he's got it past the 25-yard line. A gain of 12 and another first down. Will Collins throws across the way. He's got Maps this time lining up out wide. And he's got 20 yards inside of the 5 yard line. Goal to go. Dropping back is Collins. He lobs in. It's Alec Osborne. A 5 yard touchdown. As both offenses have impressed on their first drive. However, our first drive took 4 minutes while theirs took a minute and a half. But there's a big time play. 22 yards for McCall. And now it's first down and 10, three wide set. Throw goes to Gerard Buchanan. It's another big play, this time for 15 yards. Mount Pleasant will stay in the shotgun on first down and 10. A dump down goes to Ronaldo McCall, and he's got it for big gains. Great blocks as he gets to the edge and picks up 18 yards. Second down and seven, some read option. Here's Gibbs, nice spin move. He's down inside of the five yard line, a 12 yard run. Our offense is looking very good so far today. And it's Danny Whitmore who punches it in from three yards out to re-give us the lead. It's now 14 to seven, as that's two touchdown drives in our first two drives of the game. Now our defense needs to come up with a stop so we can extend this lead. Here's Will Collins, he's still going to the 45. And down after 16 yards. Probably the last play of the first quarter off play action. Here's Maps once again. He's got it first down and 10, a reception of seven yards. This will be the final play of the first quarter actually. Is now it's Kane Jr. to the outside. He's got a lot of room to run. And he's finally out of bounds, pushed out by Khalif Keenan. A big time game. Going up tempo as we're in the second quarter. And it's Luckett from about 10 yards out. As he runs in, he got it up the middle, and no resistance whatsoever. It's third down and 12. Throw to the outside, wide opens Allen Harrison inside of Warhawk territory and down to the 32-yard line. The biggest catch of his career, and so far in school history yardage-wise. Ransom will come in motion on the sweep, and he picks up 10 yards. A nice run for the first down. Now it's Danny Whitmore back in the game. He goes to his right and has one yard, so that'll bring up third down and four. Trips to the right on third down. Throw to the outside for McCall, and he's able to pick up the first down as forward progress gets it. 
And so on second down and goal, looking to set up a swing pass, and no one blocks the defender. A loss of four. So split backfield, third down and goal. Gibbs throws and nearly intercepted. A poor decision almost leads to a huge turnover. Instead, on fourth down and goal, it's Nate Perrion, and the sophomore kicker nails the field goal. Still around three minutes left in this first half as it's Kane Jr. once again into the open field. This time he goes for 40 yards. He's been very effective so far today. Third down and four for Collins. He throws to the outside and air mails his receiver. His first incompletion on the day. So Louisiana Monroe will come on for the field goal attempt. And it is good. And that will actually send us into halftime. Nothing happened in those last two minutes. So he tied game at 17 both offenses playing very well an exciting first half both offenses able to pick up big chunk plays as we had that big catch by Gerard Buchanan and the catch by Alan Harrison the long runs by Kane Jr. for Louise Monroe you can see the time of possession is insane for this first half over 12 minutes for us and three and a half minutes for Louisiana Monroe the Warhawks offense, especially on the ground game, was very effective in that first half as here's a big play and brought down by Leroy Red. Might have got away with a face mask. Nonetheless, it's first down. We bring a corner blitz as Collins is brought down in the backfield. A loss of two Terrell Byers in on the play. Second down and 12 for Will Collins. He throws. He's got Holly. He's inside of Mount Pleasant territory and down after 33 yards. Third down and 10, three down linemen. Another corner blitz as going to the end zone. It's intercepted. It's Leroy Red, his second interception on the season. And that will give us the football as that's one of the few stops either defense has had today. Our passing offense was very good in the first half. I would like to see our running game be a little bit better. As both plays to open up this second half are runs both to Elton Huff, who picks up a first down. Now Zachary Randolph, the fifth string running back, checks in. He's got a seven yard run with Booker Collier. He is now the third string running back with Mike Meadows red shirting. And now it's Danny Whitmore up the middle for 17 yards as we're over 100 yards rushing as a team. On second down and 10, here's a dump down to Ricky Barrett and the senior tight ends got it for 11 yards and a first. Three wide set on first down and 10 as the dump down goes to McCall who makes a nice contested catch, boxed out the defender there. Second down and five, now man coming in motion is Mays, and the pass will go to him for six yards, and another first down. Our offense has been very efficient on this drive, a lot of short passes or short plays that just add up, as here's a big one for 16 yards. On second down and goal, it's Huff up the middle, and is stopped just shy of the goal line. Third down and goal upcoming from the I formation will pitch it to the outside for Hoff. He's got it. A one yard touchdown and it regains the lead for Mount Pleasant. As both sides of the football playing very well for the Demons in this second half. Now it's Will Collins. He pitches it to Kane Jr. And no one's out there. He has all the room to run. 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, 75 yards for Kane Jr. A perfectly ran triple option as we're tied back up at 24. This is a drive in which our offense needs to answer. Here's a good first play on the read option. It's Jonathan Gibbs going for seven yards. Gibbs will go under center on second down. Twin tight end look. Here's Ricky Barrett. He's got it to the 50 yard line. A big time catch. Two minutes left in this third quarter. Gibbs throws, he's intercepted. A huge play by the corner. Trying to run a fake screen and it's intercepted. Gibbs forcing the ball in. Now on the triple option, it's Collins losing yard. Blake Cotton on the tackle. On second down and 11, Collins drops back. A wide open man, it's Turner. He's got it inside of the 30 yard line. A 26 yard reception. First down and 10. Quick throw, it's Turner again. He's got it this time to the 11-yard line, a gain of 17. I formation on third down and eight. Throw to the outside, and Green can't get a foot in. He was open, but a poor throw by Collins. And the Warhawks settle for a field goal. 
Now we'll throw down the sideline. It's Harrison to the 25 yard line for 44 yards. First down and 10. Here's Huff, a good spin move as he goes for nine yards. It's second down and one. We'll go with a draw play. Here's Huff, and he barely picks up the first down, but our drive will continue. Now it's Whitmore who checks in against the carry. He'll go for five yards. It's third down and one. A big time play coming up. Here's Gibbs, and he gets into the end zone, and we're gotta lead. It's 31 to 24. 31 27 actually, but I look at the offensive stats pretty, pretty even, except for Louisiana Monroe has had bigger plays, so they haven't had quite as many first downs. Third down and 10. Throw and open is green inside of Mount Pleasant territory. It's first down and 10. A tight look on first down and 10. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. A good block on the edge as Jared Maps is able to go for eight yards. Now an inverted veer as it's Collins up the middle for four and the first down. Four and a half minutes left in this game. Mount Pleasant still leading as it's the tight end Osborne who's got it for four yards. Third down and six. An empty set on third down. Collins tries to escape and it's Gerald Archie who comes away with the sack. And now on fourth down and six, Louisiana Monroe jumps and it's a false start. So now the field goal unit will come on. Here is the kick and it's no good. And Mount Pleasant will take over with a chance to run this clock and extend their lead. It was wide left. We got lucky there, but that's sometimes what you need. As here's Danny Whitmore. He goes for nine yards on first down. He's played very well so far today. And now it's Jonathan Gibbs. He goes up the middle for first. And now we can continue to run the clock as Louisiana Monroe still not using their timeouts. Whitmore on a sweep outside as the Warhawks use their first timeout. Third down and five. Going play action, dump down to Dorian Mays. And he's got it. That's the final timeout for Louisiana Monroe. One more first down will for sure end this game as Whitmore spins. He's got it. And Mount Pleasant is going to hang on for their first victory in school history. Jonathan Gibbs takes the knee. The first victory formation in Mount Pleasant history. And now your Mount Pleasant Demons are victorious. An incredible game from Jonathan Gibbs. Nearly 270 yards passing. This throw to Gerard Buchanan really got it started. And we'll hang on. What a victory. A big time performance from this team as they do pick up their first victory. Elton Huff and Danny Whitmore combined for 141 rushing yards. Jonathan Gibbs ran the ball well on a couple of read options. We were able to get negative plays today, which was great to see Cliff Cole with the sack. And Leroy Red came up with that huge interception in the end zone. And we were victorious, dominating the time of possession, playing well in that fourth quarter, and played well enough to get the first win. So we'll move forward into week six, where we'll be taking on the Virginia Cavaliers, as we'll be taking on another Power 5 opponent from the ACC. Our first matchup did not go very well, but if we can ride the momentum of this week, into week six against Virginia with that when we got an upgrade we're going to be going with the closer as we're nearing uh, week eight in the season already but now we'll look at some recruiting we get our first win and along with that comes our first commitment as a school it's a fullback Steve Lewis he's a great athlete for a fullback could be a little bit of a hybrid of a fullback and a running back can block pretty well but we do miss out on one of my favorite players on our board Eric Green, I feel like he could have been a great quarterback for us. Instead, he will stay home and go to Cincinnati. Now a look at what remains of our top eight as we have some nice competition in a few of those battles. You see the updated top 10 in week six after the game against Virginia. A look at the Heisman, Chad Kelly in first place for Ole Miss. He's having a great season. Now a look at the season stats for Mount Pleasant. 200 yards now for Elton Huff on the season. 200 and nearly 50 yards for Allen Harrison on 23 catches. 
as this was a great victory. It was nice to see this team finally get over the hump after two relatively close games against Georgia State and East Carolina, but it will be a much tougher game in this upcoming week against Virginia once again on the road as this is our second to last game of our five game road trip and then we'll finally be back at home in week eight. But I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please have liked down below. Leave your comment on the game down below. It was so exciting to see this team finally win a game and let me know who impressed you the most. What do you think of our recruiting in class and how it's coming along? But thank you for watching today's episode. I will see you in week six in Charlottesville for probably hopefully another exciting game. Cause I'm out.